A strange sound marks the start of an ancient ritual. Every morning of every spring, a few special places in the southern Great Plains become dance floors and battlegrounds. For most of the year, lesser prairie chickens are shy, inconspicuous birds about the size and shape of a Nerf football. But for a few weeks each spring, they become a spectacle. Gathering before dawn at traditional dancing grounds, or leks, male prairie chickens engorge their fleshy eyebrows, inflate air sacs in their throats, and erect long plumes on their necks. They stomp their feet up to 17 times per second, like a drum roll to draw attention to their booming calls. The end game of this extravagant show is mating, with as many females as possible. But first, males need to secure their territories. Border disputes between males escalate quickly. When a female arrives, she gets every male's attention. She's here to shop for genes, the best genes for her future offspring. She'll raise her chicks on her own, so all she needs from a male is the best sperm she can find. She considers all of her options. Unfortunately for the chosen male, even catching the fancy of a discerning female is no guarantee of success. In recent decades, lesser prairie chicken populations have plunged and they've disappeared from more than 80% of their former range. When native grasslands are developed for cropland, intensive grazing, or energy production, prairie chickens lose the habitat they depend on. But for now, they're still hanging on in well-managed rangelands and the few wild prairies that remain. Back on the lek, the female is gone. With no one to fight over, the males settle down, put away their ornaments, and wander off to find food. They'll need their energy for tomorrow, when the ritual begins again.